Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast. For it is the number of a man. And his number is six hundred three score and six. Of the quote that seems to consolidate them all comes from Robert Mueller, former Assistant Secretary General of the United Nations, who said, we must move as quickly as possible to a one world government, a one world religion, under a one world leader. of all is this quote from Adolf Hitler during the Second World War. He said, National Socialism will use its own revolution for the establishing of a new world order. We have before us the opportunity to forge for ourselves and for future generations a new world order, a world where the rule of law, not the law of the jungle, governs the conduct of nations. When we are successful, and we will be. We have a real chance at this new world order, an order in which a credible United Nations can use its peacekeeping role to fulfill the promise and vision of the UN's founders. And after 1989, President Bush kept said, and it's a phrase that I often use myself, that we needed a new world order, and instead it looks like we got a lot of disorder. Pope Benedict XVI is calling for a new world financial order. In the third encyclical of his pontificate, Benedict denounced the profit-at-all-cost mentality of the globalized economy. The pot of stress that he is not opposed to a globalized economy, saying that if done correctly, it has unprecedented potential to redistribute wealth around the world. And people talk then, in 1990, of a new world order. And it's only now that we can begin to understand that the world order that globalization brings and what it's going to look like, it's driven forward now not just by the balance of military strength, the Cold War times, or ordinary political power. It's being driven forward by a seismic shift in economic power that we see around us. A new world is emerging. It is a new world order. And the hope that each of us has to build a new world order. The, the way we're going to win over the long term is not just militarily. We've got to give them a stake in creating the kind of uh, uh, world order, uh, world order, uh, world order. Back, the former Secretary General of NATO, who in 1957 said, what we want is a man of sufficient stature to hold the allegiance of the people and to lift us out of the economic morass into which we are sinking. Send us such a man, and be he God or the devil, we will receive him. Any attempt to achieve world order before that time must be the work of the devil. Well, join me. I'm, I'm glad to sit here at the right hand of Satan.